I'm John Bruner. I'm here at the OzCon Hardware Showcase in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here with Jesse and Kaya from Keyboardio. Tell me what you guys are up to. Sure. So we are creating a comfortable ergonomic keyboard that's also fully programmable. So it's based around Arduino. The firmware is 100% Arduino compatible, and it lets you do kind of whatever you want with it. So if you want to attach a sensor or a shield, you can do that. If you want to change the layout, you can do that. You can program macros and shortcuts. Um, and it's you know our fully open hardware product. Awesome. And, and tell me what it means to you to be able to develop hardware with open source components? Um, so, first off, it's just the right thing to do. Um, I come from an open source software background, and so coming into hardware, it made sense to me that I would be using um, open source electrical CAD software to design a board, that we would be building around an open runtime, uh, and so we actually have about 1,900 lines of outstanding pull requests to the Arduino core because we realized there was a little bit more we needed their USB stuff to do to be good for a real keyboard. And they've been very receptive and helpful as they're shepherding it into the core. Um, yeah. Excellent. And tell me about the design here. Sure. So it's based, um, the design is a little bit different from a typical keyboard. It's still QWERTY, so it's relatively easy to pick up, but it's based around the shape of your hands, basically. So ergonomic research and you know lots of trial and error. This is prototype number 20-something. Um, basically, so your hands don't have to move a lot while you're typing, and the most important keys that you hit all the time, so control and shift and everything, is now under your thumbs as opposed to under your pinkies, so giving your pinkies a little bit of a break. Um, and it basically lets you type longer um, and better. Excellent. And uh, how are you having this manufactured? So we're currently in the design for manufacture stage. We've just finished up at Highway 1, which is a hardware incubator run by PCH. And we're, we know how to do PCBs. We're, we're in talks with a couple of PCB manufacturers. That logic board, so the logic board inside is a custom Arduino compatible microcontroller with a Bluetooth chip and a battery battery charger, which is something that doesn't exist as a single unit today. And we've been finding out that other hobbyists want this thing. And so it looks like we're going to end up partnering with a hardware manufacturer and selling those on their own as a kit, uh, um, as a as a standalone component. From there, we're currently exploring the best way to manufacture the enclosure. Um, we'd played with early on laser cutting and 3D printing. The most advanced prototype we have here is milled aluminum. Um, the milled aluminum looks gorgeous. It's incredibly heavy and it's about 10 hours on a mill to make each one. And so we're currently exploring milled wood, which is going to look prettier. It's a nice renewable resource um, and it's actually going to be a good deal less expensive to make. Excellent. Thanks so much. It's a wonderful project. Thank you.